What's up guys, I wanna to talk to you real quick about a drill that you can do at home off the tee that is one of my favorite drills for helping dial in swing plane. It's really gonna help with the lead arm action as well as the shoulder tilt, the posture, and delaying rollover, all key elements of the swing plane. And then it'll really help us feel a connected turn on the backside as well. So I'm gonna go over some of the cues, things that you can try to focus on and feel while you're doing the drill, as well as how to perform it. Okay, so when we're doing this drill, what we're focusing on is our swing plane. That's our primary focus. Several different things that are important with swing plane is our posture, our spine angle when we're looking from the front angle or back angle, and then also the shoulder tilt that's gonna kind of accompany that posture, how much tilt we have with our shoulders, and then what that lead arm does. So much that lead arm really has to do with how we set that swing plane and our barrel direction out front. So with this drill, we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna split the grip. Put the pinky to your top hand right about at the top of the grip tape. Go ahead and stride out, hit your launch position, then from there, you're gonna turn and you're gonna pause right after impact. Really wanna almost feel as though you're pausing right at impact. Why we're pausing is we're trying to get some feedback as to exactly what our body's doing from impact to extension. If we pause, it sort of helps us feel that position and helps us feel proper extension. Really helps you fight rollover. If I'm coming into it and rolling over big time right at contact, if I force myself to pause right after impact and make sure that that top hand palm is still up, it really helps me delay rollover and keep that barrel in line with the pitch for a longer period of time. It also is super helpful in that it helps you feel staying connected on the backside if you have the correct cue. What you wanna think about is that top hand, again, pinky right at the top of that grip tape. Try to feel it stay as tight or as close to the back shoulder as possible as you initiate your turn. All right, so you're not just using your hands and just throwing your hands. You're trying to feel this back shoulder and back hand turn together. Feel it here, back shoulder, top hand, fires together. So one of the primary drivers of a great swing plane is the correct posture, shoulder tilt, and then path with our front side arm. Our focus with the front side arm is for that front elbow to come up and around. When we finish, when we make contact right here, we would like to feel all of this be right in line. So front elbow, wrist, knob, bat, all right in line, right there, driven through the center of the pitch, okay? It should be someone on the same plane as our shoulders. Won't always be in the exact same plane, but they should be parallel. So you're gonna hit launch, still in that split grip position with the top hand up above the grip tape. Launch, and now as you turn, really focus on the shoulders and the front arm turning together right on plane, and then different pitch locations will require a different amount of side bend or posture. Launch, feel it all turn together, stay connected, Front side arm, shoulders right on plane. Launch, really stay focused on that shoulder turn and the path of the front arm, dialing it right in, stay right on plane. Now I love to actually go through a progression with this where I maybe do a set of five and then I start to go alternating. I'll do a swing hold, keep that barrel direction right through the line of the pitch, alternate back and forth, swing hold. Pattern that movement. Really try to commit it to memory. Pattern that movement, try to commit it to memory. Load, drive through the center of it, alternate, right back to a regular swing. Typically athletes are either too across or too inside out. If we're too far across, then we usually have our hands too far outside of the front shoulder and we rip the front elbow down and over too early. Additionally, the shoulder turn tends to be too flat and the posture tends to be too upright. If they're too far inside out, they tend to have their hands too far behind their front shoulder at launch position. And as they swing, their posture or side bend is too exaggerated and their shoulder turn tends to be too steep. If they're doing either of these, then having them try to do the opposite can help regulate them to being back on plane. Thanks so much for checking out our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell so you get notified whenever we post a new video. Show us some love, we really appreciate it.